On this video I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how the gas fired tankless water heater works and then we'll go ahead and remove this one and on another video we'll be installing an electrical uh, tankless water heater in its place. The gas unit needs a one inch gas line coming in in order to heat up the water. This is typical of most units. Uh, they're going to need a larger gas line coming in and if you don't already have that you'd have to have that installed by a plumber before you put the unit in. Uh, the gas comes in, goes through a burner assembly here, basically a pilot, and it mixes air with that. It's got an air filter right here, mixes air with it, and then it mixes a proper amount of gas. Basically puts it in here in the burn chamber. It lights a pilot. Uh, it is You do need electric to get the pilot to light. It lights a pilot inside this box and as soon as the pilot's on and the unit indicates it's ready, um, then it will go ahead and fire up and it will heat up this heat exchanger right here which the water pipe is going through and heat the water pipe before it comes back out of the unit. The advantage of a tankless water heater is that it does not keep the water hot all the time. It only turns on when there's a flow of hot water coming through it so it signals itself to come on. So basically if somebody in the house turns on a faucet and they're calling for hot water, the cold water is going to start circulating through this, these pipes. There are sensors on these pipes that indicate that water is coming through them and they will actually kick on the burners and the pilot and the burners and then they'll heat the water up and then the water comes out.